Welcome to the lesson on Conservation of Plants and Animals. End of this lesson, we will be able to Identify the causes and consequences of deforestation. Understand the need and steps taken for conservation of forest and wildlife. Understand the purpose of making wildlife sanctuaries, national parks and biosphere reserve. Define flora and fauna. Define endemic species and animals. Define endangered animals. Understand the need for recycling of paper and reforestation. Here back, when we had crossed this road, we had seen lush green forests, but the trees are cut now. Yes, Lily. Trees in the forest are cut for many purposes, like procuring land for cultivation, building houses and factories, making furniture or using wood as fuel. Some natural causes of deforestation are forest fires and severe droughts. A lot of dust is coming inside the car and I am also feeling hot. Can you switch on the air conditioning? Yes, why not? Do you know that increase in temperature and pollution level is caused due to deforestation? Yes, I know. Deforestation increases the level of carbon dioxide in the air. During photosynthesis, plants use carbon dioxide. Fewer trees would mean that less carbon dioxide will be used up and thus its quantity will increase in the atmosphere. This will lead to global warming as carbon dioxide traps the heat rays reflected by the earth. The increase in temperature on the earth disturbs the water cycle and reduces rainfall, resulting in droughts. Groundwater level also gets lowered to reach Panchmari Sanctuary. I think Panchmari Sanctuary is a part of Panchmari Biosphere Reserve. Wildlife Sanctuary, National Park and Biosphere Reserve are names given to the protected areas meant for conservation and preservation of forest and wild animals plantation, cultivation, grazing, felling trees, hunting and poaching are prohibited here. The plants and animals found in a particular area are termed as flora and fauna of that area. Do you know what are endemic species and animals? Yes, I know mom. Endemic species are those species of plants and animals which are found exclusively in a particular area. Sal and wild mango are two examples of the endemic flora of the Panchmari Biosphere Reserve. Indian giant squirrel and flying squirrel are endemic fauna of this area. Wildlife and sanctuaries provide protection and suitable living conditions to wild animals. Sanctuaries are places where killing or capturing of animals is strictly prohibited. Reserves like Satpura National Park are large and diverse. They protect whole sets of ecosystems. They preserve flora, fauna, landscape and historic objects of an area. There are some animals whose numbers are diminishing to a level that they might face extinction. These are endangered animals. Examples of endangered animals are wolf, leopard, wild buffalo and barasinga. An ecosystem is made of all the plants, animals and microorganisms in an area along with non-living components such as climate, soil, river, deltas, etc. Mom, how do we know that which all are endangered animals and plants and what are their present numbers? Red Data Book is the source book which keeps a record of all the endangered animals and plants. There are different Red Data Books for plants, animals and other species. 
so many papers, Lily? Sorry, Mom. If each student saves at least one sheet of paper in a day, we can save many trees in a year. We should save and reuse used papers. The rear side of the used paper should be used for taking out printouts. Mom, is there any other way we can help save energy and trees? What is the answer to deforestation? The answer to deforestation is reforestation. Reforestation is restocking of the destroyed forests by planting new trees. We should plant at least as many trees as we cut. This lesson, we are able to identify the causes and consequences of deforestation. Understand the need and steps taken for conservation of forest and wildlife. Understand the purpose of making wildlife sanctuaries, national parks and biosphere reserve. Define flora and fauna. Define endemic species and animals. Define endangered animals. Understand the need for recycling of paper and reforestation.